I, it, it's insane. They, they, they ask for the, they ask, basically they ask for the Justice Department to punch them in the face. And that's what the Justice Department did in this, in this brief. Look, I got to keep it 100 with you guys here on Rebel HQ. I'm somebody who, when this DOJ Trump raid of Mar-a-Lago news came out, I'm not going to lie, I poo-pooed it. I said this is just the thing that Trump's going to, you know, walk away from. Like he did the two impeachments, Russia Gate, you name it. Um, the Southern District in New York, their case, you name it. This guy's walked away from everything that people have lobbed in his direction. However, man, I have to admit that these guys are looking cooked right now. Um, you see this gentleman, Conway, he's a conservative lawyer. He's up there on CNN and he's, and he's explaining like, yo, <laughs> The DOJ said, do you have any more of these classified documents here? Trump got his lawyers to sign an official statement, a certified document that said, no, we're done. We gave you everything. They actually show us the certification. I don't think we've seen that before. The certification from Trump's lawyers that said, hey, there were no more documents, no more classified documents left here in response to a subpoena. They gave a red weld of documents back and, and, and it turned out and they certified that that this was that's it. There's all the responsive documents we have, and it turned out there were and, and that there were no documents anywhere other than in that storage room. Turned out there were documents in his office. There were documents all over the place, and do, and and tons of them. So, they Trump and his lawyers tell the DOJ one thing. These people go right up in there. Okay, and they find more in different rooms, storage rooms, hidden away. Like, this is textbook definition of obstruction. Like, Conway says they asked the DOJ to punch him in the mouth and they got knocked out. Like, this is, they got these fools dead to rights on these charges. I mean, they have, if, if the, this factual recitation has him dead to rights. It's just no question about it and it explains a lot today about what we were seeing Donald Trump um, uh, truthing out on his social media uh, uh, platform that's failing he was basically just freaking out all day and, and the reason is this evidence this evidence just shows he's he's guilty as sin he did this again I don't think Donald Trump's gonna go to prison I don't think an American pr uh, president can go to prison um, in our country for a myriad of reasons or whatever. But like this dude, it, it, he's in trouble. They got him, man. They finally got this dude on something that could actually stick, you know. Um, and it's kind of wild to watch. And it makes sense that Trump and a lot of his cronies on the right wing are panicking. And then, of course, there's the situation with Donald Trump's lawyers who they're in a world of trouble as my man um andrew weisman points out on this clip uh <laughs> these homies said that a thorough search was done so either they lied or trump lied which means they can either save themselves or ride with donald trump and again like this dude isn't that ship is sinking let's let's role play i am now defense counsel uh, advising uh, Corcoran and Bob, I tell them you need to withdraw as counsel and you need to get the best defense counsel you can possibly get um, and um, stop talking. They either themselves said that they did a thorough search when in fact they didn't, which is um, perjury, um, and obstruction, or somebody told them that a thorough search had been done, i.e. Donald Trump. His lawyers are now even in a position where they can be prosecuted criminally, and I think they'll probably flip and start snitching on this dude because that's the logical thing to do. But it's just crazy, man. The evidence is mounted. Um, they got this dude. Obviously, the base of Donald Trump's support will never wane. Um, I don't think anybody should be surprised by that. As somebody who's like close to the Penn State situation, I remember the Joe Pa last days where people rode for him and he was accused of 
subordinating child molestation. So like, yeah, I expect the Trump people to ride in it up, but like, this is what goes on, man. Uh, but yeah, this is crazy, and I think this is actually something worth monitoring.